Hi guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I decided to go all out washi, pick the washi tape first rather than look at stickers, which in previous times has not been the best idea because I end up pulling up the washi tape and totally changing it out. But this week I decided to go with it and to stick with it and to make sure that I was going right ahead, full speed ahead with these colors. So I've never done yellow and navy before, but now is the time and I wanted to push myself a little bit with the color scheme as well so this is totally different from what I've done last couple of weeks so that's why I decided to do it this is a gold foil washi tape it's from cinnamon designs I believe she sourced uh, Cindy sourced it from America or somewhere um, but she sold them in her shop so I got a set of eight I used them last week as well, used two last week, and it's nice just having something a little different. I think because they're so thin, you can use them a little bit more f frequently in your spread. It looks totally black on camera, but it is a really dark navy blue. And I realized getting into this that I did not have a lot of navy blue stickers, which is a bit of a bummer. And the only really navy blue stickers I had were because I got a grab bag from Peaceful Mind Design. So her stickers have been really handy in, in the last couple of spreads because they're not something that I would purchase normally. Like they're really different colors. They're little icons. You know, I would never usually pick them. But I found that the, the grab bags or the oops grab bags have been really handy for me in the last couple of spreads. Not just Peaceful Mind Design, but also Basil and Mint and a couple of other stores. So if you're a sticker shop owner, definitely consider doing them because I've actually find them really handy and I'm sure a lot of people use them differently, but for me, they've been really good in that sense. And that uh, little box there is from Peaceful Mind Design and that was from a grab bag as well. And it's good with her stickers because they're, they're quite narrow sheets. So they're all different sizes and they're not your stock standard sticker on a full stick page. So really impressed with those. And I decided to use some of Basil and Mint's, it's a from a, an actual spread and I was tossing up whether to use those colors. It was like gray, yellow and like a corally pink color. But I decided to just pull some of the yellow from it rather than go ahead and use a sticker sheet because I think sometimes that's a little bit for me it's a little bit lazy I'd prefer to try and get out of my comfort zone and try match colors from the stickers that I have rather than take the easy way out and just use a spread and then that way for me it sort of gets me out of my comfort zone for finding things and matching them together and making it look pretty because a lot of the time if you're not using it from a sheet then got to work a little bit harder that half box there is from Basil and Mint. It's a glossy sticker and I used it with my Le Pen permanent pen that I got recently from Amazon. I did a what's in my pe pencil case uh, last week on my channel. I will link that above. And I just go through some of my favorite pens or the pens that I have in my, my pencil case. I have a lot more pens than that, but my main ones that I use and that I go to and what I find most beneficial for my matte stickers as well as my glossy and vinyl stickers. So that's definitely my favorite if you want to check it out. Uh, um, as I said, it'll be above. Um, and I, yeah, I find them really, I find that they really work nicely with glossy stickers as well as the vinyl. Decided to go into my Chrissy and Designs travel binder this week and pull a couple of the functional stickers. I just find that they are really useful for functionality in spreads. And because they come in so many different colors, it's really easy to match things so decided to pull some of those that uh, sticker of my friend is from Erin Condren I got that custom made on their website and I just usually use them for birthdays over anything else there isn't a whole lot on this week is usually what I say every week but I find that towards the end of the week I go in and I do a bit of back planning now that uni's on on Monday and Tuesday, I find it really difficult to plan on those days because it's just literally from as soon as I wake up, it's just I'm on the go and obviously I don't take my planner out with me. So I can't really plan on those days. So when it gets to later in the week, I will then pull it out and do a bit of back planning and add things in and add thing in, things in for the rest of the week as well. Last week was pretty quiet. Uh, with sticker wise like we didn't have a whole lot on but then I 
came in later in the week and I added things and I put things down that were sort of memory keepsake stuff and it, it did fill out quite a lot more. So I have to make sure that I'm not going too overboard during the week when, at the start of the week when I'm planning. That's about it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. But otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.